Hey guys, we were lucky enough to get TCG Loot's Mana Loot box for this month. We are gonna open it today and review it for you. All right guys, here it is, the Mana Loot box. I'm really excited to get into this and open it up. Uh, this is the second uh, box subscription that I'll have ever opened. The other one is a, uh, a date a month. So I'm way more excited to open this one. All right, let's do it. Um, I feel like a kid on Christmas. Where to begin, honestly? Well, this, I mean, this caught my eye first. Uh, this, of course, is an Ultra Pro uh, deck box. I think most people have seen or used these. They are solid. Um, they're really, honestly, just a great deck box. Um, perfect for Commander is my thinking specifically. Um, and I mean, they will, they'll, they'll work for, for standard stuff, modern stuff. It's a deck box, they hold cards, it's great. But I mean, it's just nice for Commander. Um, I've got buddies who have a, an Ultra Pro for each Commander deck. Um, if that's your route, man, uh, I think that's a great way to go. Uh, so I'm really happy to see one of those. That's really cool. Uh, next. Okay, Hypermat Sleeves. I've used Hypermat Sleeves. Um, I've used them a lot. I think in the first It Resolves versus video, we were using Hypermats. Uh, these are very nice. Um, you only get 80. I mean, that's Hypermat Steel. Uh, most sleeve companies will make you buy two packs if you want to sleeve up a whole commander deck. That's fine. It's just how it is. Uh, unless it's Dragon Shield. But um, I think I like Hypermats more than Dragon Shield. These aren't necessarily like cheap sleeves. So I'm excited to see those. They're great. They also fit, you know, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! If if that's your route too. So that's awesome. Um, ooh. All right, so this is pretty dope. This is like a little, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, this is like a little life counter. Well, this is really cool. Um, it's wooden and it's got, it's got TCG loot stuff on the back, all that. It's really cool. Wow. Uh, I mean, I'm really excited to see this. Uh, I don't normally use like a physical life counter. If I do, I have like a spin down. That's the, the closest thing. Uh, this is pretty unique. Um, I think most people would wonder where you got this and that's a cool little talking point. Not a lot of people would have it. Um, and that's awesome. I really like it. Uh, it's not too like stiff or hard to use right now. It's like, it's sliding pretty easy. I love this. It goes up to like 99. That's great. That's cool. Uh, this might, this is my favorite thing so far. I think this is really awesome. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, we have a J sticker because of course we do. Uh, I don't love that, but I mean, stickers are stickers. That's fine. It'll go on something. That's cool. Um, a relic token. Uh, I don't know what this is. We're going to open it. We're going to find out. This is, is this Kalia? Is it Vast here? Who are you? Uh, it's a little, it's a little here, all the relic tokens. Okay. This is a, ah! Pain. Pain. Um, what are we? Oh, a Maelstrom Wanderer token. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess it's also a life counter. And these up here. Gosh, turns more life. I'm not sure. Um, okay. I I don't love it, but that's fine. Uh, that's it's kind of neat, I suppose. Uh. It's cool for, for Commander. It seems a little gimmicky, but um, that's fine. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, a blank token. Oh, these! Okay, these are awesome. So you can use this to make your own tokens. That's pretty cool. You can draw whatever you want there. You can write whatever you'd like on it. Uh, it can be silly. It can be serious. If you're an artist, go crazy. Uh, this is really cool. I am going to write so many hilarious things to beat up Kevin with. He's gonna die to so many strange items. I don't know, bowls of spaghetti, I don't know. We'll, we'll decide later. Uh, but this, new favorite, this is awesome, this is cool. And I didn't know where to get these. Um, so to get to get one here is pretty awesome. That's very fun. Bunch of packs, okay. So we'll open those uh, in a sec, but I also see a promo Militia Bugler. Uh, I can't imagine it's the same promo every time, so that's really cool to get one uh, in each box. Uh, and, and then it's a, a holo token, so that's really cool. 
Uh, militia Bugler's a good card, so that's awesome. Actually usable. Sweet. Um, a little spin down die. What's our 20? Okay, it's Planeswalker. That's cool. I mean, these are in most fat packs and all that stuff. To get one's fine. I've got a million in my house. Um, okay, and Profit Sleeves. Awesome. So, to go with your uh, other sleeves, I mean, if you double sleeve stuff, these are side loaded, which I actually prefer more because they're easier to get into an actual sleeve if you stick them inside. It's not that weird, like, air bubble you get. Uh, so, this is awesome. Um, I'm into double sleeving my commander decks because. I'm calling me crazy, whatever, meticulous, but that's just how I do it. So these are great. Uh, I think everyone has a use for those somewhere. Um, and this is a play mat. So that's pretty sweet. Let me see if I can get all this in, in frame. That's pretty crisp. So it's their logo. I'm trying to get it so you see it. So it's their logo, which is fun. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a proper play mat though. It's from Ink Gaming. Uh, we're also an affiliate. Let me check us out. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I mean, this is a, this is not a cheap like, rinky dinky mat. It's the, you know, it's the real deal. You feel that? But there you go. I've seen some play mats that are not not quality, not good make. So this is nice. I mean, you can do everything you need with it. Roll it up, throw it around. That's solid. I'm cool. I'm happy to get one of those. Um, everyone like forgets a play mat now and then on game night or something. So. Uh, that's really cool to get. Um, okay, so those are all the individual items. We are going to open the packs just for conjecture's sake. This is, these are all standard packs as well, by the way. So uh, if you're a standard player, um, there you go. You got three extra chances of getting something you may or may not need. Uh, so that's cool. We'll pop the box out of the way for just a second and get into it. Okay, uh, so this is everything that came in the box, guys. Uh, the price of the box is $32.95. Free shipping as well within the United States. Uh, if you're outside of the United States, there's a small fee. Um, but overall, I feel like it's a pretty good value uh, for $32 every month. Now, a lot of this will get changed out every month. It's not the same items over and over. You're not going to get a deck box every time, probably. Um, the most intriguing one was swag. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited to see what the swag is. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'd like to see a few of the stuff, you know, changed out, but like I'm, I'm satisfied with all, all the things I got, all the items. All right, so honest opinion after opening this box, uh, I think it is a pretty sweet product. Um, there's nothing in here that's really specific for any one kind of magic player. Modern players are going to find stuff that they'll use at a tournament. Commander players, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you'd like. There's some gimmicky stuff, I'm not going to lie. A sticker, I don't really know what I throw it on, but it's going to go on something. Uh, so it sounds like there's going to be something in here every month that you will be excited to open. Um, I'm ready to get my own every month. So if that's your kind of thing, you like magic swag, you like magic accessories, stuff like that, this is the product for you, honestly. Guys, thanks so much for watching our review of the Mana Loot Box. If you want to get your hands on your very own, you can do that at tcg-loot.com. Big thank you to them. We really appreciate the chance to open up their box. Guys, we will see you in the next video.